Here. Here. Any questions? 
Yeah, sure. Is there any is there budget there, or are there, is there money or plans to tear down the old jail eventually? Right, that's part of the whole village out of the work. So that, and that was one of the big concerns uh, with the other sites that we were talking about was going to be built so close to that jail that not only would we have to be bothered with the construction then, but even afterwards, uh, when the new jail was built, we would still have to work around the destruction of the other building. So this pulls it over and out of the way and will be cleaned and pretty on a green space out in the front of the jail then? Yes. There'll be enough there that they could probably at some point, even if they wanted to, put another county facility right in there. So it'll be fun. Right now it's just green space. Okay. Any question about the chair? Thank you, John, as usual. Thank you very much. Any other public comments at this time? Seeing none, I'll move to our consent agenda. These are items we consider to be routine. Take them with one motion unless someone up here or someone in the audience wants further clarification. Tonight, we've got our minutes of July 8th, rec minutes of May 1st, housing commission minutes of May 14th, BPU minutes of June 18th, South Central Power Agency minutes of May 10th, uh, work session minutes from the Power Agency of May, May 10th also, BPU financial reports for May, and our investment reports for June of 19th. Our consent agenda item. Anybody in the audience wanting to make clarification? Way up here. We look to move, approve our consent agenda, please. Move to approve. Support. We have a motion and we have support. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Are you opposed? Motion carried. Number nine, bills and accounts. $90,403. Comments here? Questions? A motion. Move to pay the bills. Support. A motion and we have support pay our bills. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Can we opposed? Motion carried. Number 10, City Manager Report. Keith. Thank you, Your Honor. Good evening, everyone. Uh, first, we'd like to note two weeks from tomorrow is our August primary election. The city will be conducting the election at the Durst Center for city residents. Uh, while there are no city-related races on the August primary ballot, there are two village renewals uh, requests on the ballot, uh, one for Beta Branch Area Transit Authority and one for the Branch County Central Dispatch, uh, 911. And those are renewals uh, for those county levies. That there again is Tuesday, August 6th, and it runs from uh, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Secondly, uh, about two weeks ago, we had a check presentation for the $196,000 grant by Michigan State Housing Development Authority uh, for the construction of a home as part of a pilot project through MISHTA on behalf of the state of Michigan, where we are now under construction for Thompson Boulevard. Uh, Thompson Boulevard will open up an additional 15 new single-family residential lots uh, with the new road connecting Pillsbury to Michael Drive. And so that's uh, now underway as is um, the ordering of the home. Uh, relative to a couple of community events, uh, hopefully you had an opportunity to uh, stop down uh, prior to the rain. Uh, Arts Alive, the art walk that took place this past Saturday, on uh, potentially the hottest day of the year. And uh, so as a new event or an expanded event, uh, really enjoyed seeing what they had to offer in, in the way of a wine and beer tent, uh, artists and artist demonstrations, and um, kids' activities, and so an expanded event from what was previously conducted uh, relative to our walk, and we hope that continues to grow in future years. And then Entertainment Under the Stars, to make another plug for that, uh, our fourth week is tomorrow. Unfortunately, we're one for three so far with weather, so in both cases, they've been rescheduled uh, into August, uh, but we hope to have a better weather tomorrow, much more comfortable, and the one that did uh, that did take place two weeks ago was just packed down there. So had a really great turnout and look forward to another great turnout tomorrow. And then relative to uh, projects, as I noted, Thompson Boulevard, the, re the construction of that road extension is now underway. We anticipate it to be completed by the end of August. Sanitary sewer uh, is the primary utility that's being uh, constructed in addition to the road, curb, gutter, and sidewalks and uh, that will be completed by the end of August. And then Race Street, uh, we conducted a uh, drainage repair there with some pictures to show you, uh, similar to a couple other projects that we anticipate having as well. 
around town relative to stormwater management and uh, flooding control, drainage repairs. Uh, those are things that are uh, taking place in those areas that are affected by flooding. And then lastly, uh, just a, a reminder uh, for those that aren't necessarily directly impacted that the South Jefferson Street reconstruction project continues. Uh, water main and water services, I believe, are all completed and sanitary sewer uh, construction is underway. Uh, that's still anticipated for completion near the end of August. And um, it's quite an extensive project. And so uh, we really appreciate those that have now, uh, we think the, the number of people that are, I think the curiosity factor has waned. And so we haven't had nearly as uh, many comments or concerns about that, but we still wish or ask people to uh, avoid the area if they don't have to uh, be in the area because of the nature of the construction. And then one item that wasn't on the uh, manager's report that I want to point out uh, that is going to occur prior to our next council meeting is August 1st through the 4th, our recreation, the, uh, the uh, Brown building will be closed for the refinishing of the wood courts, wood basketball courts. So uh, because of the odor that's caused and the need to stay off the uh, floors for a couple days, we'll be closing the uh, Brown Recreation Building uh, from August 1st through the 4th. I believe that's a Thursday through Sunday. And with that, that's all I have. All right. Keith, is there a start date on the construction of the complex downtown? We just got notification today that they closed on their financing, so uh, in very, very short order, they anticipate in the next week or two. City Manager report. Support. A motion we have support. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Motion carried. Number 11, a memo from Bob Eckes regarding authorization to execute the Prairie State Replacement Power Schedule with AMP. Do you have to one of those apparently? Yep. Yes. Good evening, Mayor, uh, City Council. Uh, the agreement in front of you is basically gives us flexibility because in the past what happened whenever Prairie State had an outage, which they typically are in the springtime or the fall time when the sun goes on, they have to do maintenance. Uh, what would happen was the American Municipal Power and would actually go out and buy that replacement power on our behalf. Uh, the problem is that sometimes if we're long on power, we, we don't need any additional power because we have long on other contracts that we've already incurred. We still had to take the power contract that they had given us. So, uh, by adopting this resolution, which the VP board also supported, this allows us the flexibility to, if we want it in contract with AMP, we can. But if we get a better deal uh, with another vendor, or if we don't need the power, we can say, no, we, we don't need that replacement power at this time. So this just gives us a little more flexibility to be handled in one of the three ways. Question for Jeff. Not, he's asking that we adopt Resolution 1948. Move to approve Resolution 1948. Support. We have a motion on support. Any final questions? If not, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any votes? Motion carried. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Number 12, a letter from Keith Baker regarding the proposed resolution to amend the city of Coldwater's rates for garbage and refuse service. Keith. Thank you, Your Honor. Two years ago, we entered into a new contract with Republic Waste Services that updated a prior five-year agreement uh, that was initially established in 2012. In 2017, that contract, which again was for five years, uh, stipulated a set of rate increases that, they would, that we would incur as the city uh, through Republic Services. And so what this does is try to uh, to then uh, reflect those increases on an annual basis uh, for what we're going to incur as part of the an annual increase from Republic. This would be for a dollar increase uh, from $14 a month to $15 a month and, and or $13.75 for senior citizens. And that rate adjustment is necessary at this time to meet the, as I noted, the fee schedule charges by Republic to the city for the city's refuse fund, which we operate at a, a very uh, slim margin and we don't want to operate in a, at a loss. Uh, this would be the second year in which we've asked to do this. There would be three more years on the contract uh, that we would be coming back to you to um, 
uh, to follow that as well. Um, just a little a few statistics. There's a 3,143 uh, toters or customers uh, with the system, and uh, the majority of which have one cart, but if you do have a rate structure then that has uh, charges for those with uh, two or more carts as well. The service also does provide not only uh, refuse collection, but the bi-weekly uh, recycling, as well as the weekly large item pickup. Those costs, or costs for those services are built into uh, this fee. And with that, we're asking for the consideration of resolution 1938. Question ballots. What, uh, might not know this, but what's the age for seniors? Asking them for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a, a great increase in that as well. Do you know time? I don't, I don't know off the top of my head, no. But we can find I'll out. I'll get that back to you shortly. Sure. No. Okay, great. First thing in the morning, but uh, off the top of my head. I move to adopt resolution 1938. Support. Just one question: How do our rates compare to other refuse? So when we did the when we did the comparisons in the in the bidding two years ago, we did the comparisons to other communities, municipalities, and we think we're still lower than, than the majority of them. Um, they're again also including recycling and large item pickup, which aren't included in in most of the other contracts of other communities. And many communities uh, collect on a quarterly basis, so it gets a little more difficult to. Um, extrapolating all three months um, to compare and contrast. But I think definitely we're on the low side of, uh, of the range. But haven't done so in two years. Keith, explain on the multiple tollers, I'm just curious. It looks like the increase is a little bit more, but I see that multiple tollers are priced less. Is that because it's one stop picking up two or three tollers? It's, it's meant to reflect a little bit of efficiency there. Uh, I knew that I anticipated maybe a question like that. So um, we are trying to close the gap, and Tom and I have had that discussion where, you know, the, essentially the subsidy or the reduction for more tours was was wider a couple years ago than it is now, and we continue to try to close that gap. Um, but yeah, it is it is a reflection of, of a little bit of efficiency by being at one stop which to pick up two or more tours versus multiple one stop to do one tour. Thank you. Go how many three and four and five did we talk about? Five or we talking about a thousand or yeah. I have that too. So so for for one cart uh, of that thirty one hundred and forty three that I noted, uh, customers with two carts is three hundred and twenty two, uh, not insignificant. Uh, with three carts is 69 customers, uh, four carts is 12 customers, and um, five carts is five customers. So how much of business is with that? They might be uh, apartments, apartments as well. Makes sense. Well, but there can be, um, we have some customers with, ours is just residential. What's our, I guess, to keep it apples to apples, when we bid this, are we bid per teller, and then people getting a break, other people are paying for it? Are we, paying, are we bidding it per stop, or is it bid based on? Our bid based per teller. So, so we have two teller, and we're being charged basically thirty dollars for the margin. They did that. What Jim's at, I think, yeah. four, four quarters are twelve fifty a piece, and if that's because it's multiple places using it. I'd like to probably see that close that gap. Or are we trying to close it? Yes, more? right. The gap a couple years ago was very wide. We were giving a, a large discount um, when we entered into the new contract. It just didn't make sense to continue to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I also didn't want to go cold turkey. It's an insignificant amount of money, but. I mean, I think everybody's in agreement um, because we are being charged a flat fee, the same amount per toter. Um, in the long run, that's how we should pass the toss off. So it might take me, we might get out of this in one more year, but we would arrive, 
if we, for the one total rate, obviously we went up one dollar. I can't tell you off the top of my head what we changed for the, but you can see it there. But we went up more than two, one dollar. Two dollars per total for the two totals. Yeah. So we did. I just wanted to do it in a couple years, and that was a strategic decision just to make people not upset. And the dollar amount was extremely insignificant. Yeah, good question, Tom. Okay. Thank you very much. We had a motion.
zoned properly for it. It is exactly what you would expect on Main Street. But I was told, no, we're not going to let that business in there. Now, this might be okay on one or two things, but you, you've accumulated a lot of uh, properties or are in the process of it. Goodman's building, the building next to that, Lefties, there was going to be a bidding war on lefties. And, and you really irritated a lot of people by taking that before they could. And I, and I spoke with uh, Mrs. Angels, and she said the council was worried about someone buying it and letting it set vacant. And that's the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard in my life. Nobody buys a premium piece of real estate and does nothing with it. What's it right? And then I read the paper where you want it to be, you're going to remodel it to be a restaurant. You're getting pretty specific. I think you need to let free enterprise decide what goes in. When I drive through Main Street, I can see the results of this cumulative group's best thinking. So, Check the legality of this. I really think you're overstepping your bounds. Think, think of the adult entertainment business. If you didn't already have ordinances in place preventing that, and I know that you have some, but if you didn't, and somebody wanted to go in there with an adult the store. time is up. If uh, council would like to extend your time three minutes, they can do so with a motion. So moved. We have a motion to extend the time an additional three minutes. Do you want to let you support that? Support. Yes, support. Okay. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 We have both. Do you have an additional three minutes? Thank you. But if you try to stop them once they get uh, started the process, you they would sue the crap on it. They've done it to a lot of places. You already have to have existing regulations. You can't just say, wait a minute, time out, we're gonna we're gonna make a rule. You, you can't do that. So take a look at that. Consider what you're doing on the overall picture, how many properties you're accumulating and the opportunities, cumulative opportunities you're taking from the public. Um, that's uh, just a request. It's a serious one. I don't want I think you have enough lawsuits now, we don't need more. And finally, you, you need to drop this issue with the Elks. So we're going to have another embarrassing headline again tomorrow. And quite frankly, if I win the election, and I'm going to, I'll do everything I can to put that sign back up if it comes down. So you guys should at least put it on hold until after the election. Because if you spend all that money, even if you win, I guarantee you I'm going to do my best to undo it. It's going to be a waste of time and money. Thank you. Any public comments? Seeing none, is there any unfinished business at council level? Does anyone else have any new business? I have uh, one um, business to wrap up at everybody's table. There was a, uh, our city manager evaluation was due actually July 1st. I apologize to the city manager for letting it go a uh, month too long, but we have uh, our cumulative results of the goals that were established a year ago and our scoring for those. I think they came out very well. And I have a recommendation for an increase for our city manager at the bottom of the page if uh, it meets your satisfaction. So, uh, so the results of the results, and then I guess we're looking for a motion to uh, approve the increase to the city manager effective 7 one minute meeting. So moved. Support. We have motion support to provide a salary increase of 3% to the city manager effective 7 one of 19. Final discussion? If not, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Motion carried. Also, I uh, compiled some suggestions for everyone. Uh, there were some good suggestions. We tried to combine a couple, two or three into one, of uh, goals to set for the city manager for the next year. Um, it seemed to be what we were interested in doing. Uh, 
There are some other suggestions people have. I will share those with Keith, but in terms of the official goals to evaluate them on over the next 12 months, this is what um, we produced uh, by consensus, I guess. So I suspect it would be nice to have a motion to approve these as our goals for the city manager for the fiscal year 1920 that meets your so moved. Board? There are questions, comments? Uh, we can certainly come up with other goals and objectives during the year. This is not at all incumbent because this is just to start us for a basis. So, uh, with that being said, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Motion carried. Uh, finally, any other? If not, we're adjourned.